I'm Yasmin Anand with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. In a message marking the UN Day today, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa stressed the need to stave off terrorism, urging a more effective international cooperation and tools to confront it. His Royal Highness stressed that extremism comes on top of the cross cutting issues that undermine global security and stability, as it is threatening global peace and security, and its impact goes beyond regional and national borders, urging for a more effective international cooperation to confront it. He asserted that the international community after 70 years of the establishment of the United Nations organization and in light of current global developments and challenges has become in an urgent need to reevaluate international cooperation and develop more effective mechanisms to meet the aspirations of the world peoples for security and stability and attainment of sustainable development goals. He said the world is in need for more understanding and interaction between UN member states for the common good and stability of all peoples. He added that it is fortunate that the UN is celebrating this day, particularly since the supreme principles and objectives of the UN Charter brought about a significant shift in terms of coordination of collective action to serve humanity and create a formula for sustainable cooperation that reflects the people's genuine need for security, stability and development. The Premier said the celebration of the UN Day is an occasion to renew the international community's commitment to the spirit and principles of the Charter of the UN and draw attention to the urgent need to develop new mechanisms for cooperation that would ensure a more secure and stable life for humans everywhere. He stressed that this calls upon the international community to give more support to the UN efforts in face of those challenges. He also said new mechanisms are needed to help the UN to play a more effective role at conflict zones and achieve global security and stability. He commended the development achievements of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which have helped the kingdom attain the Millennium Development Goals and move forward towards a more prosperous future, pointing out that Bahrain was ranked high on the list of countries in terms of human development. His Royal Highness praised the level of cooperation between Bahrain and the UN and its dedicated programs, which expresses the Kingdom's significant approach in meeting its obligations and highlights its efforts in terms of promoting international cooperation, peace and security. In conclusion, the Prime Minister praised the Secretary General of the UN, Ban Ki-moon, and all employees of the organization and its specialized agencies for their efforts in serving mankind and promoting global peace and security. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King and their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince, on the occasion of the achievement of the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team in the 5 lap 120 km World Championship in Chile today. The championship included the participation of 11 countries, where rider Fahad Al Khatri achieved the winning title. British Member of Parliament Rahman Chisti highlighted Bahrain's status as an outstanding example of tolerance and coexistence. The MP singled out Bahrain's special standing as he was talking about religious freedoms in the world, particularly the Middle East, at the Parliament. Chisti said there are communities in the Middle East facing persecution for their beliefs, including. Baha'is and, and Yazadis in Iraq, but added there are also good examples of tolerance and coexistence, such as in Bahrain. He said that in the capital Manama, there are 19 churches, three Hindu temples, a synagogue, all with include proximity to one another, showing tolerance and freedom. On his Twitter account, the MP said that he asked the leader of the House for an urgent debate in Parliament on religious freedom around the world.